How's it going guys? We are back in another video here and this video is going to be talking about the new changes that NHL 24 will have kind of post launch though they did word it that way on this tweet so hopefully guys do enjoy this video again not going to be a very fancy and very edited video here but you know what just trying to get this news out to you guys as soon as possible make sure you leave a like subscribe if you have not already and let's hop into it now. So as you can see here, EA has tweeted out today saying thank you to everyone who participated in the NHL 24 community playtest and sent along feedback. We're sorting through it all now, but there are some certain changes we'd like to make official immediately. Okay, so number one, they're adding hybrid controls back as an additional option alongside of skill stick and the new total control scheme i know it's a huge deal for a lot of people people really like the hybrid controls and really, really rattled that it got removed which i understand but to me even though it's getting added back i would say for you guys if you're new to the game or just been playing a while i think skill stick is still the best controls to use i'll have all these best settings videos out when angel 24 comes out but i'm still probably going to go with skill stick as the main control uh system i would say that would be the one that you should use so that they're adding back number two we're adding the option to use the new goalie tether control scheme or the standard goalie control system in nhl 20 three i think it's awesome i know it's not like a huge deal like oh ea doesn't matter they're they're saying that their features aren't good whatever at the end of the day giving people the options is always a very good thing i feel like you could never when, when people like something and you remove it and you add something new that people don't like it's probably best to just have the option of either or because then you want people to be like oh well i actually like the new system compared to the old one but then you'll have the people that say i bring the old one back right so to me, that's a very good idea by them. And I could, as I've been saying to you guys, these two new lead producers, the gameplay guy, all tremendous people really care about making the game great and really leading the game to a great, great place in the, in the future here. And, and they really listen to feedback. That's a clear thing right now already. I mean, the tech test just ended and they added all these things back, right? Like they're going to add these things back. So it says these changes will be reflected in a post-launch NHL 24 update and are only some of the improvements we're, we're working towards based on your feedback. We're excited to share our full plans in the coming week. So still more on the way. Uh, it's not like people, I think people were thinking like, oh my goodness, this is it. That they're, they're only, that's it. They added hybrid back and they added the uh, NHL 24 goalie control system back. So that's all they're fixing, right? No, they are going to be working on gameplay stuff and we will hate the pressure system. I'm not a crazy fan of it right now just because of how easy it is to activate. I think that's the biggest problem they have right now is how easy it is to activate. But overall, I don't think it's a horrible like idea. Like I, I don't think it's a horrible idea to have it in the game, but uh, I, I just feel like it's something that they got to tune, right? And if you can tune it, uh, that's going to be huge. I, I really, I really think it is. And that's something that uh, if, if they can do that, that'll be uh, very, very important. And hopefully they can listen to your guys' feedback. I mean, I, I think they're going to. I really believe in this team. So we'll uh, we'll go from there. But uh, also going to give my my kind of my final review on the tech test, probably in a video tomorrow, maybe, or Thursday. It depends. We'll see. But uh, overall, those are some of the changes that will be made post-launch for NHL 24. Uh, what are some other things you guys want to see when it comes to uh, just NHL 24? Some of the things they, they should be fixing uh, or, or tuning, right? I mean, that, that's really what it comes down to. I mean, we're getting close, guys. We're almost basically a month away now from release, which is absolutely crazy. It's fastly approaching now, and I'm very excited for it, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well. So there you go. All right, guys, so thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. I know it's a short video here, but again, just kind of getting right to the specifics and what you need to know about it. So make sure you follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik at three E's. I know the Discord talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.